Hey, Brandon Bonhoeffer here. Guys, first off, if you are watching this video because you purchased a success planner, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to this page, because we're gonna go through a lot over the next year and ongoingly talking about how to make better plans of your life and how to better utilize the success planner. So today in this video, we're gonna go through a short tutorial on how to install your success planner into OneNote. For those that are watching because you have a different document or such that you're looking to import into OneNote, this tutorial should help you out as well. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this tutorial if it works out for you. So stay tuned. All right, for those of you that have gotten Success Planner, this is gonna be the first step. From your order page, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download the Success Planner. This will come through as a zip file and it'll download directly into your computer locally. For those of you that uh, have a different document, just sit tight, we'll get to that in a second. All right, once your document finishes downloading, you're gonna to wanna to locate it in your downloads folder. This may differ based on a browser that you're using. You can see if you go to my website, link is below. There's a quick link to get you to the OneNote page. It's very important that you make sure you unzip the file. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and upload the folder that the document is stored in. So the entire folder. So in this case, we have each of the individual months you see there. If you're downloading a different file that has multiple tabs and pages, you're gonna again, gonna to wanna to upload only the folder after it is unzipped. From there, it's gonna log you into OneNote. It's gonna place the folder in your documents. You can see from here, it is opening up online in OneNote. Now this would be the same for any document that you'd be importing into OneNote. Now from here, you can go into your desktop version of OneNote. You can go ahead and go in your phone, your iPad, or whatever tablet device you might have, and go ahead and open up OneNote, and simply go to Open Notebooks, and it should sync over and download. Now based on your internet speed, this process might take a little bit different for each and every one. So as promised, that was a short, quick tutorial on how to import a zip file into OneNote for whatever notebook you might have. Now for those that have a document maybe you want to export or share, we'll do that in another video. So definitely hit that like button, subscribe to our page, and continue to follow us in a journey of planning a better life and being more successful. I'm Brandon Bonifer. Stay tuned.